we're going to talk about the bone marrow microenvironment. So as we know, the bone marrow is the primary lymphoid tissue that is involved in production of lymphocytes. So lympho, um, lymphocytes are just white blood cells, and we're going to see how different hematopoietic stem cells interact with what are called the um, extracellular matrix and the stromal cells, um, and how hematopoietic growth factors produced by stromal cells are, prevent, are presented to the immobilized hematopoietic stem cells. And if we don't know what hematopoietic stem cells are, uh, a little brief introduction to them would be that they um, are self-renewing and multi-lineage differentiation potential um, cells. So they're pluripotent. Um, they're really difficult to study because they're hard to grow in, um, in, vivo, in vitro. Um, but they are extremely important, obviously, for the growth and differentiation of different types of um, blood cells. So you have granulocytes, which are produced by granulopoiesis. So granulocytes would include neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Um, and if you think about it, the basophils, neutrophils, and eosinophils are filled with granulocytes, so, or granules, I should say. Um, so that's an easy way to remember. And then you have the monocytes, which are produced by monocytopoiesis, so monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells. And then you have lymphocytes, which are produced by lymphopoiesis. Um, and then for red blood cells and platelets, it's urethropoiesis and thrombopoiesis, but that's besides the point. Anyways, so stromal cells and extracellular matrix are really important for the, for the um, release of growth factors that help these stem cells become what they need to become. So if we look here, we're going to draw a hematopoietic stem cell right here. So we have a nucleus in there. And then we'll have these receptors kind of all over. We'll just do it on one side, but you can imagine they're obviously around the entire cell. And these are just your little receptors that are going to interact with different um, extracellular matrix milieu and uh, other cells that are around the stem cell. So first off, I'm going to draw what's called the extracellular matrix. So it's just the attachment point of stem cells and progenitor cells. So we'll just draw it kind of like this. This is your extracellular matrix here. And it's going to have um, a little receptor, let's say, bound to each one of these. And then you also you can imagine that's going to be completely surrounding the cell. Um, and then you have your stromal cells. So there's a bunch of different types of stromal cells. So I'll try and draw each one here. Um, first off, we're going to have, well, let's just draw it in layers, I guess. So we'll have like endothelial cells down here, which would kind of be these long, whoops, long rectangle uh, shaped, shaped cells. So, or uh, three of those here and then we'll have uh, fat cells so we'll do a little a fat cell here like this or also known as a uh, adipocyte and we'll draw another one on this side here so we got a couple of adipocytes here um, we also have macrophages so we'll draw one of those here so it's kind of a weirdly shaped white blood cell here, um, and we'll get into kind of monocytopoiesis and granulopoiesis in, uh, in the next few videos. And then you're also going to have what are called uh, fibroblasts, and uh, I'll do those in uh, yellow. So we have fibroblasts here, I guess that's orange, not yellow. Okay, so each one of these, once again, is going to have a connection point. So we'll just do kind of all the connections in white, but you know that these are coming from each one of these. So let's imagine this guy is obviously closer in real life, but he has a really long receptor here. I just want to illustrate the point that these are all connected and they're releasing growth factors. Um, so different growth factors might include um, interleukin-3, GM, CSF, um, MCSF, depending on what type of cell that this, this hematopoietic stem cell is going to differentiate into. So um, but the main points of this are that stromal cells are the physical support um, 
um, for the growth of hemato hematopoietic stem cells. They provide nutrients. Um, they produce hematopoietic growth factors. So growth factors. Um, and they also express adhesion molecules that inc uh, influence differentiation of this, in, of this cell into the different types of, of uh, white blood cells that it might become. So that's uh, stromal cells and extracellular matrix here. Um, I guess I can label all this extracellular matrix stem cell um, fat cell macrophage um, endothelial and fibroblast and we'll see kind of why all of these different cells and their their um, ability to provide nutrients and growth factors and be physical support for these stem cells are really important for the differentiation into the different cells of our immune system as we move forward in other videos.